All right, welcome back. I am in my classroom. I'm so excited. Uh, I'm going to do an empty classroom tour real quick before we do classroom setup because I want to see how much I get done today. So um, I have a truckload of stuff to get in. Uh, but again, before that, we're going to do an empty room tour. Okay, so this is the front door. If you can hear anything out there, I think they're working on something. Um, but yeah, this is just a little spin around real quick. Already brought my plant and backpack and rug in. So that's the slow turn around and then we'll dive deeper into a little stuff. So this is the front door. This is our prep room. Um, right by the door we have our emergency bag that we take uh, with us to um, have student roster and all that. Um, I plan on putting some fun posters right here. We got a new smart board. I don't exactly know if this is a smart board, but something, along, oh, new Promethean, but something along those lines. So I have to figure out how to use that. There are a lot less cords, although maybe they just haven't put the cords in yet. Um, I have some sinks and drawers. They usually stay empty. All of that, all this stuff up here. Oh, I love my view. Well, <laughs> not the houses, but I like all the light that comes in. Our shower, our hood. This is, I kind of claim this as my sink, but it is a handicap accessible. So if I don't have any um, students that need this sink, I might claim that as mine. Our goggle, um, cleaner area, safety blanket. And then this is my teaching area, file cabinet, my big desk, and then my old desk. So um, if you watched my video from last year, this was the fish tank area. I'm not gonna do fish this year. And I'm pleasantly surprised that there is no smell because I thought, I did clean it out, but I thought like maybe there was gonna be a smell associated. There is not. So this is gonna be the student center instead of fish because that was a lot of work. Um, and this is my cabinet. And then all the tables are in the center. So I have to figure out how to move them, um, see what I can do. I'd like to do table groups. I'm not sure because this is COVID times. So I'm not sure if I can do table groups, but we're gonna try. All right, it's all in the elevator. <laughs> Thankfully it was just one cart, but man, that was a process. <laughs> I want to get the tables in um, groups. I'm hoping that that'll work. Um, I want to get the tables into groups and then I want to remove the fish tank. So basically just big picture items so that way I can then um, make that space whatever I want to. Nothing's in the way. <laughs> Um, I'm just leaving some cleaning stuff on the uh, table over there because there was a whole bunch of salt and um, some vinegar from when I had cleaned out the fish tank prior. So I'm just letting that soak because it was disgusting. Um, next up is to arrange the tables. And I have 15. 
If I can move a 60 gallon fish tank, I can move some tables. <laughs> Bear with me. Okay, I am kind of giving up on the tables because um, it's really heavy. There's 15 of them. Um, <laughs> so that's just not gonna be fun. What I might do is just tape the floor um, and then just put in a work order. So that way they know, hey, can you put the tables in these things? Um, yeah, that's what I might do because it's just, this is not fun. So, and I'm, I feel like I'm wasting my time and I wanna be as efficient as possible. So yeah, work order and tape. And then maybe we'll do some fun stuff to, maybe we'll work on my area. Yeah, no, we're not even doing that because I can't see what the table are gonna look like. So I don't wanna put tape down. I think I'm just gonna wait until I have a second person with me and then we can do it without scuffing the floors. Um, but for one person, it's kind of tough. So I think I'm gonna wait um, for a second person, either my sister or my boyfriend because he's coming down soon. So I have work for him. I'm way too low. I have work for him. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do my desk area because that's gonna be a little bit more fun. Yes, that's gonna be a lot more fun. So currently my desk area is like this, which um, is not bad. I had it like that last year but I kind of want more of a diagonal um, desk. I want it, you know, going this way um, because I just felt like it was a weird angle um, to try to view the class. I don't know. I just feel like it's going to be more pleasing if I do a diagonal. So I'm going to try that. Um, hopefully I can lift it. <laughs> we'll see. personal things on there to just make it feel really homey um, and I wanted also that well, I can't do this this is so weird whatever the bottom one I wanted it to be able to fit all of my um, uh, binders for like meteorology geology um, all of those different topics uh, because they don't fit there 